people, 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 people. Um, MEC, uh, MEC Williams, um, together with the Honorable Member, the Chief Whip, um, Honorable Parker, and all our honored guests, international and national colleagues, and the very important guests, the child and youth care workers and the young people, hola! Uh, today I can see you are full of life and you are happy, you are full of love, you know? It's always nice to be around you. Uh, that's why I like the song you just sang, but you didn't sing it well, I don't know, but yesterday you were so powerful. I enjoyed it. So today it's like the choir is big, so there are a lot of, you know, creativity uh, around. But I think uh, without wasting time, I just want to confirm and reiterate our commitment as government of South Africa, as social development. We are mandated our, by our beautiful constitution. You know, most we are one of the best in terms of the progressive constitutions, ne? Yes, we have one of the best in the world. So that constitution mandates social development to provide social security, care and protection for our children. Within that constitution, the Bill of Rights specifically says, specifically says every child in South Africa has a right to be protected from maltreatment, neglect, abuse, or degradation. So whatever the previous speakers were talking about in terms of high levels of abuse, sexual abuse, we are charged with that responsibility to make sure that those rights are upheld and are protected, isn't it? Yes. yes. Now, going further beyond Constitution and Bill of Rights, we have a famous legislation, isn't it? The Children's Act. It begins to unpack, and it has been developed in line of the international instruments and regional instruments we have ratified. You know them, Mosne? The UN Convention on the Rights of the Child? The African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child? Yes, so we are so relevant. Ne? Now let's come back home. We have a challenge. With all this beautiful constitution, legislation, policies, we still have a problem where our children are vulnerable. Vulnerable to various social conditions and social ills. That is why you are important as sitting here. And I think we need to acknowledge that if we have to really protect our children, we need a concerted and a coordinated effort. We need child and youth care workers, we need all other social service practitioners to come on board and assist each other and work together. I so wish that all other professions can be like child and youth care workers. I was telling people there, say, this is a very young profession, yet they have grown so much in a very short space of time. When it comes to council issues, they vote. Hey, man. Hey, they mobilize. Within structures, they make sure they are represented and their voices are heard. So I will go and talk to my colleagues with the community development. I'm not talking bad no, if they are here, but I'm just saying if they can pull up their socks like the child and youth care workers, this country will be far away. You all know that as a country now, we are focusing on community-based prevention and early intervention approaches. ACBND is one of the tickets. It's one of the tickets. So I'm here to affirm and confirm that this is our international renowned brand that we, as government, we are going to push and make sure that it survives within that space. Drawing on, on all other services or service providers that are there so that we can increase reach, improve targeting. Remember now, within the five years, we said we just want to meet, um, reach 1.4 million. How many children do we have in South Africa? So many. In CSG alone, 12.6 million. So 
if we want to reach at least that 12.6, we need to increase capacity. We need to increase people who are playing a role in the space. So that's what we're going to definitely do as a country together, isn't it? Yes. yes, because at the end we want to see our children protected and going forward. There are a lot of testimonies sitting here that begins to tell us that this program is yielding better results. And if we want to continuously have better educational outcomes, we need to go back to say, how is our early childhood development doing? And what is the role of child and youth care worker there at that level? How are we implementing the first thousand days of life? Because if you can, you'll get better results later in life. Then your leaders will be very excellent. So as we were implementing this program together with NACCW and NGO partners, we have now almost reached one 1.1 million children with this ECBND program only. We have also managed to bring on board more than 360 NGO partners to play a role in the space. And we have already trained over 6,000 child and youth care workers. How do you like that? We are getting there. 10,000, here we come. So. We can only do that when all of us, we put our heads together and work together. We really appreciate the contribution made by child and youth care workers in the country because they are always there in the community. They are taking the children with their hands and guiding them all the way. So we really value this uh, partnership. NACCW, I hope you will open up the space so that other role players can come on board. Yesterday I was saying to UNICEF, UNICEF assist us to look for other donors who share our government vision so that they can come on board like you did to ensure that we advance the cause of protecting children in our country. Viva Child and Youth Care Workers, viva! viva. Thank you.